on, Crystal Beast here. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing everything covered by DevStream58. I know I'm a little bit late on this, and I know the footage in the background is not the best, but let's do this. All right, so this stream, we were joined by Forsythia, the community manager, Zebnik Hoyak, and Zora Fiedrich. Chova. Sorry if I butchered your guys' names, but they are producers, very intelligent people. They very much had some good commentary to bring to the table. Um, in particular, Zebrek talked about the addition of a walk distance stat. Is that something he could see as being a good addition to the game um, after it was mentioned in chat? I agree. I think that would be a good addition. The, the stream, in particular, had a main focus on what seems to be the upcoming April update with a lot of uh, hinting that the April update will most likely be coming this weekend. Um, so the April update will be bringing with it a ton of Easter themed cosmetics. Even if the April update does not come out this weekend, these will be coming regardless with the holidays in the shop. Um, and these Easter themed cosmetics range from, they're kind of similar to the St. Patrick's Day one we got last um, update with the February update. Um, this. Also, uh, was some confirmation really that like this update will very much likely be coming this weekend. Um, and the main reasoning was they, they really did say they can't state the exact day of an update just in case it gets delayed because it's out of their hands. But the amount of just, hey, you know, new cosmetics this weekend and you know, hey, you know, I don't know. Personally, I got the feeling that we are getting April update this weekend. Continuing on the April update, we know that there will be, based off what the Zyberek said, the, um, many bug fixes with it. I'm really curious to see what we do get in the April update, and I will be covering it when it comes out. The devs also uh, asked a curious question to the community, which is what Vigor merch would we like to see as a community? There's some great answers in chat given by tons of different people. But personally, I'd like a script of the cassettes printed into a nice little book. I know. I'm a nerd, but it'd make my life a lot easier. Um, that's, what I, that's what my answer to that question would be. They also confirmed that there are no plans to add more mementos in the next coming update. However, there was some throwing of ideas that perhaps that uh, the Vigor soundtrack could be added as either mementos or just audio you can play in the shelter. I like that idea. I would really like to be able to play things like, you know, the menu theme and that stuff that are, or the trailer music like Sura. And uh, I think that could be interesting on the future. They also talked about the decrease in queue times, but that was mentioned last week by Joe Honey. And really that that is something that a lot of people have begun to notice, um, something they did on the backside. Besides for that, there really wasn't much to cover. Um, this dev stream, uh, it really was a short dev stream. I feel like the next dev stream we get, which is either going to be next week or the week after, most likely the week after, um, covering the April update when we get it will be the one to really keep your eyes out for. So yeah, this has been Crystal Beast, and uh, let's hope to see you all next time. <laughs>